In this video, I want to put a strong emphasis on email messaging. Email messaging, whether it's automated for what you would consider a autoresponder message, just a direct broadcast message. I think it's important to note that one of the reasons we give you the form when you complete the form is that we make it so your email messages would go out. You can also do it, but it, if you're not technical, it's always best to let us do it because the things I'm showing you won't be able to do if you didn't set that up yet. So first thing I'm going to show you is how that's done. If you don't want us to set up your email, you're going to have to do it yourself. But you go to settings in the bottom left, you go scroll on the left side until you see email services. When it's good to email services, you're going to click and then you're going to go click on this dedicated IP stuff. Then you're going to click it and you're going to add this. You're going to go add a service. It's going to give you an opportunity to go to where you own your domain, set it up. So the email messages can be delivered, right? Typically, if you don't have that set up, they will not be delivered. They'll go into spam folders and everything else. So fill out the form we give you or do the process yourself to make sure you have the ability to do that. All right. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this test account that we have, the contact. I'm just going to do individual messaging for now. Then later we'll look at how to email like in an R responder or using a template. So if you take a look, you'll see right away, I have David G. I have the email address. I doesn't have a phone number, a lot of contact info. I don't know yet, but I'm only managing the contact initially just by getting email messages out. And as I do that note, there's a lot of information I can have, but all I have is the email address and they subscribe. I'm going to go with it. Now we we'll see what says verify here. This email needs to be verified. It's a test email. I'm not going to try and verify it. But I do want you to know that this is how you do that. You just click to verify or in your settings, you can literally just set, go to settings and then go to your business profile, scroll down to you get to verify email addresses before it sends to a new contact. If you do that, then it's going to verify. I just don't recommend it doing every time a new person comes in. If you know it's verify, don't verify it. But if you don't know, verify it. That means you may want to do it individually or something like that. The reason I say that is there's a small fee to do that. That's like, it's less than a one penny. It's 0 0.0025. And if you want to know 0.1 is a dime. So this is really not much money at all, but I do want you to know that there is a slight fee. Okay. As I said, less than one penny, and that'll help you to better understand exactly if you already know that everybody in the list is actually your, you have the right email address, don't verify, but you do want to verify if someone new comes in, when a new person comes in, you may, when you see the, go to their name, to their account, you may want to click verify. If it says, nope, it's a bad email address. You get rid of them. So anyway, had to start with that. So you have a better idea of what to do now over here. You notice because it has an email address, but doesn't show a phone number. I would not have an SMS ability right here to directly message them. And I won't have the ability to send them a WhatsApp message, right? And or um, social media at this point, because social media is not set up in this account. But right here, I could send an email if it was accurate. I can literally say, here's my test right here. Then I could say, blah, 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 blah. And we go down, blah, 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 blah. Down. I could send the message to whoever I want. I can blind copy some, I can copy others, and I can determine where I want it to be coming from. Of course, it knows my email address. It wants to come from me. So this is how I do it now to manage the formatting. I would go down here to change the color of some of the letters if I wanted, right? I can go down here and I could say, I would like this to be a blue if I want it, right? Just turn the letter blue. I can actually turn it into a link. I can grab something and turn it into a link if I want. If I click that, it's going to ask me what link do I want to be there? You can also upload an attachment, right? You can add an image and you can set insert emojis. Like after my name, I'll put it like a smiley face, right? Then you can also insert um, a specific template snippet request money because our system has its own ability for you to have payments. You can send someone a link for payment and then you can do more. What more? It's to ask you to give you all kinds of options here to send an appointment link from your calendar, other things like that. That's how you manage it. 
you can determine the font size, the paragraph, all those types of things. If you want to use an ordered list, you could do that. And that's it. Then you can send. That's not how I do it, but I'm just giving you the most basic ways so you have a place to start. That's how you can send an email message directly. Now, what other things can you do? Well, I'm not going to send that message, but I want you to note, once you send a message through our system, you can always look at it through this section called conversations. And it doesn't matter if you're using, if you have the app downloaded, you're looking at it there. You can always see every message without opening up your email. You can always do that. But I think it's important now to see, as I mentioned earlier, when you email, I may want to send a task to someone. I may be want to task someone on my team and let them know, I just sent an email to this David G person. And I may be assigned someone to follow up with them and see if they're ready to get started by Friday. I can also have notes about this David G guy. I'm trying to get the phone number. I can also schedule an appointment and I can also upload any documents that I have on them. So you get to manage in so many different ways through our system. But this right now I'm showing you is just emailing. So now this part is how to email directly to one individual at a time. Let's go back to contacts where you can see how you can email a lot of people at once. I can literally select all and I can select more and then I can go do a bulk action or I can come over to the top and I can email them by going to the fourth icon over or the fifth icon over and send an email. If I go to send an email, I click it. Now, all those people are about to get the same email message. Do I want to use a template, right? One that I've already prepared in a template that so it looks nice and it's beautiful, right? So if I go there as hope, I don't know what that looks like, but I'm going to see there's an email message that's already telling people there's hope. I could send that message or if I don't want to use a template, right? I don't use one. I leave it empty. We can add that. It's like, nope, I want to make it generic, right? So I could say, then I could put who it's from, then I could put the address, and then I can type the email message just like I did before, or I could put blah, 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 blah. Now, I could easily format and set up my message, attach, make a link, change the, the thought formatting, and then when I go down here, I send. But before you send, it's going to ask you what you want to call the action. And the reason you want to call an action is so you can actually identify when you go look at the history to see how it's how that campaign is doing you can go look it up so in this case i might say um uh friday august 22nd 2024 open house now the reason you do this is once you send it it's going to give you a way to go track which email you sent so you can see what's going on what percentage opened what percentage uh bounced what percentage unsubscribed you get to start tracking it but if you don't give the action a name it's just gonna be a random email message i like to always know because we do a lot of mailing i like to know what thing it was for then i can tr test and take a look at the behaviors and also the effectiveness of it because i might want to try that one again if it worked really well but it was well received so once you give it the name you can send all at once or you can schedule it for another day if I were to schedule it for tomorrow, I would just say when and we'll give it the calendar time and then select. But I don't want to do that. I want to send it all at once. I can send drip mode, right? With a certain frequency, I can turn it on on a certain date, then stop, then do another one, another day. I could just have a drip like that, but I'm not going to do that. What I want to do is send it the way I send it now. Then I may attach a file, an image. And if I do that, that's, you know, that's just how it would work. Then I would click send. So now, what I've walked you through is how to send an email in volume more than one person at a time. Now, if you don't have templates, we're going to get to email templates, but we're going to first go to automations where you can see where there's a way for this. You send messages through the automations that can occur. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel this that you've taken a look at that. Now, in order to send email messages using automation, you have to go to automation first. Now, if we set up your automations, you don't have to be concerned with this because we do that for you, right? And so here's what you would do. I like to see if there's any that I look. Okay, here's a, let's see, supported messages, earn commission. Here's an example. I don't know what that, I don't know. I have no idea what this is. I never looked in it, but I want you to know how this works. So we created something. 
Now, we wanted it to automatically trigger when someone does something. So there's a webhook here. It could be that when someone submits a form, like the opt-in form, or they respond in social media, we'd use something that would trigger these email messages to start. Once it does, there's an internal notification or send it to people on our team, then the email message would go out. In this case, there's a template, right? If there wasn't a template, we could just write the email message here. Here's what's vital. If you didn't set up your email system yet, like I told you that we do if you fill out the form, you want to do it because this stuff won't work if you don't. So you notice you have to always have these things completed, the from name, the from email address, and then the subject. And of course, the type, those things will, these will automatically populate if you have a template. If you don't have a template, it's gonna, you, you have to type this type of thing in, okay? Now, I was like, the check messages, I've never seen this before, but I'll go look at it. So here you go. You'll see an email message already written to whoever the recipients are. And email messages are sent in automation, which means, oh, we have a new subscriber. I've already go email them. No, it's automatically going to happen and welcome. And then it'll actually send them a voicemail message to their system. You can literally record a message and send it to them, right? Right inside the system. You don't know. And you can set that to automatically happen when someone texts you or calls you. It can send them a nice message. It's a beautiful concept. So when someone earns a commission, they may be sent, hey, you just earned a commission, voicemail, as well as the email messages letting them know. So that's how it would work. You could send an email message in automation. And a lot of them, there are several accounts we have that there's literally all year long, several messages going on a week. They're automatically pre-done in advance and they're personal and ready, but that's another way to send email messages. Now I did tell you, I would talk about using templates. I think that's important. So one thing I want to do is go and walk you through another test account to look at these templates. So if you look, I'm inside of email templates. This is one would do for a church. So if I open up the system, right? I can take a look at the template and see what was created. It has their name, I mean, their banner and so forth, and the email message is already in there. Once you have an email message written in a template, here's what happens. You can then pull it inside of an automation. You can do it right inside that direct contact. You can add it. If you're sending bulk, you can just add that email message from the template. You don't have to write anything because they're already pre-written. So that's a different way. Now, this is the template that was created by our team, but you can always create your own. If I go to new, create a new one from existing campaign or from marketing templates or a blank template, or I can import an email template. Okay. So a lot of you may not want to create, you're not artistic. So you go ahead and click from an email marketing template there. There's all kinds of email market templates in here and there's different categories you can click on. And so with those, you can look at uh, automotive, maybe beauty and fashion coaching and look, okay, what are my email messages that look like? You can play with that yourself. All right. And do it. Unless we build a custom one for you. That's built around you and your brand. You can create your own brand inside of one of these already existing templates. So I'm not one for using those, but they do work well. I just want you to know that there are multiple ways, a host of ways of actually sending email messages. So there you go. See you in the next video.